at 5. Devastated. I'm heartbroken. Heartbreak and questions. After two children who attended the same daycare die within days of each other. I think the first thing that we just really want to share is just simply how devastated we are. Tonight, investigating the circumstances surrounding a toddler tragedy. And one of those children died of meningitis. The other's death is currently under investigation, and other parents at the facility are definitely concerned. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at the child care center with what one of those parents has to say. Peter. Well, she was told by the health department last night that there were two cases of meningitis here, and she is demanding answers. Meanwhile, the CEO of the child care center says it's been cleaned and sanitized twice. It remains closed pending the investigation. I'm devastated. I'm heartbroken. Alicia Conroy, whose 17 month old son goes to the Carol Glassman Donaldson Child Care Center, is alarmed. Two young children who attended the facility died within a week of each other. I wish they would have notified parents earlier, sooner. You know, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big issue to let this school stay open knowing that something like that is happening. We notified all our parents. We continue to notify all our parents. As information comes to us, we share it. State Health Department inspectors stopped at the center on the grounds of County Hall, the Stephen P. Clark building. I think the first thing that we just really want to share is just simply how devastated we are. These are our YW babies. And everything that we can do for our children, for our families, for our staff right now is what's paramount. The CEO of the preschool operated by the YWCA said the Florida Department of Health confirmed that a 22-month-old boy diagnosed with bacterial meningitis died December 3rd. A second child passed away December 10th, but the cause is unknown. They don't know if the cases are connected or if there's any connection to the daycare themselves. But Alicia Conroy learned from the health department. Uh, they just let me know there was um, two cases of meningitis. Conroy and other parents received a letter from the center informing them about the situation and symptoms of meningitis, recommending that every parent seek immediate medical attention. Meanwhile, a check of record shows that just two days before the first child's death, DCF inspections revealed six non-compliance complaints, including no isolation area for care of an ill child and rodent or vermin infestation. In April 2016, there were two non-compliance complaints, including one that immunization records were incomplete for a child. Alicia Conroy says although her son is okay, she's not going to bring him back. I think there should have been more precaution. After the first case, there should have been definitely been more precaution. I mean, they should have told us more early on instead of letting our kids, after the first case, my child was still attending the daycare. Now, the state health department tells CBS4 that the second child actually died outside the U.S., so the officials have not been able to confirm through lab tests the cause of death. Now, 55 children attend the center. Ten of them have parents who work for the county. It will remain closed until it is deemed safe. We're live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS4 News.